but I'm always trying to bind a pair of Is music hard? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's hard as shit, man. Why do so many people get into it? Because you're driven to it, I think. People with a real calling, um, especially when it comes to the writing part of it. If you have a real desire to write something meaningful in the deepest way to for somebody else to draw from, but mainly for you as well, to get over a certain period of your life or to rejoice in a certain moment, then you, you don't ever get away from it. Like, even if you can't do it for a living, I guarantee you, you're still writing, right. you know? You're still gonna find a way to, to express those thoughts and those emotions, and writers do it through writing. And on the other side of it, the performance aspect of it is, is you know, it's still invigorating and full of adrenaline, and, and, you know, when you feel, like if you have a bad, this happens all the time, it happened at, uh, the Live Oak venue that was the precursor to this venue now. You have a bad week of shows where nobody really cares or is listening and then you get to go play one there or here and you have a crowd, no matter how big or small, 30 to 200 that are into what you're doing. It comp it's like hitting a great shot on 18. Right. You're, like, you're just like, all right. I'm going to play again? Yep, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it for another five years. It's like golf. But yeah, it's hard. It's supposed to be hard. I mean, it's, an entertain it's the entertainment business. People always say... Like, man, it must be a really hard profession. And there are a million ways to make money doing it. You don't have to be, you know, Bruce Springsteen. You can be Walt. You could be Daryl Scott. You know, right. you don't have to be Jason Isbell. You know, you could be Drew Kennedy and make a living and, and have a career for the, your entire life doing it and still get the same fulfillment out of it. If you can write the script, how it plays out, once you're all the way back in, how's it play? What do you, what do you, how do you want this thing to play out? Oh, man, you know, I'd like to sell 10 million records and <laughs> have, have a goal, yes. Do a couple of arena tours and, <laughs> you know, that's what, I mean, I, I still would love to be a star, but that desire has faded immensely. What made it fade? Mm, I don't know. I think I have a family, you know, and you start thinking about being gone for, years at a time, essentially. That makes it tough, but I mean, it's doable. And if that were the way that life presented itself to me, I wouldn't hesitate to take it and run. Um, but it's not like when I was 18, I'm like, man, I wanna be the biggest and the right. baddest dude ever. Like, you know, I'm humbled more than I was then, for sure. And, uh, and I just, I get, I think that I understand more about what I want out of music than I did when I was that age. What is that? Really, I just want I want that fulfillment for my entire life. You know, I want that. I want to know that what I've done has left a, its mark on people, more so than the world, but on people as individuals. And I want to be able to do that forever, knowing that that's still what's happening. You know. But I'm always trying to buy.